Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Virgo. Hey, Virgo, how are you? Happy New Year, guys. We're going into a whole new year. I had to get y'all Virgo readings out there. Okay, let's look at this reading for the new year. How about that? Come through spirit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And subscribe. I would love to have it. And to all my new subscribers, this is what we do. We tap into the energy every week. To my subscribers who's been riding with me, you know I love you. We are family. We stick together. This is a positive channel. This is an uplifting channel. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we're doing. For the new year. Virgos, come through spirit. What you got in store for the new year? Come through first position. We have the nine of cups. Mm -hmm. The ace of cups. Okay. We have the ace of wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Temperance. We have the Queen of Wands. Lord, what is going on? Okay, Virgos. What is happening here? We have the Moon card. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Death card. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Give me a minute. Virgo, Lordly, Lordly. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the Three of Cups. Mm. Virgo, you're going to be celebrating something soon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're going to be celebrating something soon. You got some sort of victory coming your way. You're going to be celebrating with family and friends. Your energy is getting light. Okay, if you guys was heavy at one time, this is a change. 2023 is bringing a change. You're going to be doing a, lot, doing a lot of gatherings, celebrations. You're going to be doing a lot of meetings with family and friends. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. It don't get no better than that. Ten of Pentacles, okay. Your Pentacles are on the rise. Your money is doing great. Some of you have commitment coming in too. Yeah. Some of you have commitment. If somebody had you in a third-party situation, you won't be anymore. Now they want to be in a commitment with you, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Higher priestess energy. You guys are very intuitive, very gifted. Listen to your intuition. You won't lead yourself wrong, okay? You will never steer you wrong, okay? You're very intuitive. Work that. Utilize that. Don't negate that. You are who you are. Tap into it. Sharpen it up. Okay. Some of you guys have to sharpen it up. Sharpen it up. You self doubt too much or something like that. I know you're human. You do get down, but you know how to pick yourself back up. Okay. I know uh, that sometimes you just, you know, you just feel defeated. You feel, you know, fuck it. Why do I keep trying? Keep pushing through it. Feel the, feel it and move through it. Okay. You know, like you know, like you know. You're very intuitive. You in tune energy. Okay. Lord have mercy. Come through spirit. Mm, this is a good read for the new year, 2023. Woo. It's gonna be better than what y'all ever imagined. Mm, 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 mm. What is going on here? How many major cards did we have at the bottom of the deck? Okay, you had one with the High Priestess. Okay, so two. We got two, three, four. We'll take them. We will take them. Okay. First position is Nine of Cups. Does it get any better, my loves? Does it get any freaking better? That's wish fulfillment. So whatever it is that you guys are planning, you're desiring, you want, and I want change, I want this, I want that, I ain't taking this shit, you got it. 
You're going to get your wish fulfilled. Whatever it is, whatever it is that you guys are saying, I'm not taking this with me. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I'm going to go get this and I don't care what nobody say. It's going to happen, okay? You got the Ace of Cups next to that. Who's this in love with you? Lord, have mercy. Somebody is smitten on it. Somebody is very much in love with you. They keep it to themselves now. But they are very head over heels over you. And they plan to take action with this Ace of Wands. You got somebody that's in the cut. Somebody you cut out your life, you broke off with for something like that, you haven't seen in a while. They're still harboring a great deal of love for you, okay? This love is getting stronger and stronger for you, too. You guys are getting stronger and stronger doing your own goddamn thing. You ain't paying this person no mind. And this person is all, you are all this person thinks about. They're about to take action with you because they, because they feel... Um, abandoned by you they feel that you don't want them no more you may have put them out your house you may have put them out your life you may have totally totally um separated yourself from this individual because mm -hmm. now they feel lost they feel abandoned they feel unwanted they want reconciliation with you with that tempers they want you to have patience with them and please forgive them and trust them understand them you know they got issues but they love you they love you to death you know they they're going to come in and Please, 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 baby, please. And can we talk about this? Can we at least still be friends? Oh, my God. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, you guys are not paying this person any mind. You got the Queen's of Wands, Queen of Wands energy. You're looking good, smelling good, and you ain't letting no grass grow under your feet. You got shit to do. You making moves here, honey. And it looks like you're making these moves in silence with this moon card right here. You're not going to be telling them, nobody too much of your plans or what you're doing or, or what you got going on or something like that. Your emotions, your feelings, your uh, what your next move is, mm -hmm. especially, especially pertaining to your money or your business. Mm -hmm. However, you whatever your next major move is or something like that pertaining to finances or your business. Yeah, you're walking in silence with this Queen of Pentacles energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This Queen of Wands and this Queen of Pentacles energy. Yeah, you're taking action and you're trying to build that bag, okay? And you're going to be walking in silence. You also may be moving or getting a house with this Four of Wands. This is another thing that you're not going to be telling nobody about. Yeah, somebody also may want to move in with you, okay, with this Knight of Swords. Somebody they also may want to, you know, please take me with you. Let's be together. Can we walk this out? Whatever you need, I can help you. I've changed. I have a new, uh, um, I have a new outlook on this relationship with us. I've learned my lesson. I'm the man that you want me to be. I'm the woman that I know I that, that I know you need. Whoever you're here for, male or female, you know who you know. I don't have to keep labeling that place this where it belongs okay you also got a great deal of opportunities coming to you with this ace of pentacles okay it's going to be in many many offers coming in to make some big money this is the big coin okay all right this person that might be trying to get back with you carries the big coin as well. They might be making a lot of offers towards you, trying to support you, trying to provide for you, trying to um, go into business with you, just trying to be of assistance to you because they don't want to be out your life. This is somebody who truly loves you. Okay, maybe they couldn't be with you because they was already in a committed relationship. They were already married or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But they realize now of the, that the person that they with is only wanting them for their money or what they can give to them okay they they know now that you that you were offering genuine love that that ace of cups love that you truly just wanted them for who they are not for what they had not for what they can give you this person is starting to realize that now and this is why they want to rush in and come tell you how they feel they want to come tell you a whole lot of stuff too but their pride and their ego is in the way however you look at it they're going to take action they're going to take action because they they, they got to rush in nervous as hell they scared they scared because they don't know if you're going to be like i told you dumb ass get the fuck out of here would you why are you coming now after all this long time when I tried to tell you, I tried to warn you. What do you think? I'm a person that goes after somebody who's in, who's married. I knew that was the wrong person for you. I knew what our connection was was real. What do you think? I go around breaking up homes, breaking up marriages. Now this person sees you. Try to tell them, and they feel you're going to be like, get the fuck out of here after all this time. Are you shitting me? You change, you change, you change. But they did. They did change. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You can still do what you want, Virgo, but I'm telling you, I'm reading these cards for you, honey. This is what it is. Somebody is smitten and determined not to let you out their life because they see you making moves. They see you growing. They see you walking in silence. You taking action on you. You doing you. 
Uh -huh. Some of you are purchasing a house or you're looking for a house or you're trying to move with this four of wands. You got some sort of uh, commitment coming, okay? You got a, some sort of commitment coming mm -hmm. where you're going to be committed to uh, a disrelationship with somebody or committed to some sort of contract in, in purchasing um, or moving into a new apartment or something like that or getting some kind of house or something with that four of wands. This is living together. This is um, living uh, cohesively together with somebody, okay? You're definitely moving, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. whether you're taking this person with you or not, okay? You will have this happy home because that's what it also represents, a happy home, okay? You're going to have it. It looks like you're going for it right now. You're moving in silence. So you, some of you might be trying to move for the new year or something like that. Some of you might have already moved and you know, you're trying to fix up your place or something like that. Yeah, whatever you're doing, you're doing a silence, which is a good move. Don't tell nobody enough or keep it to yourself. Uh-huh. It looks like this This is a lesson that you guys have learned. Stop telling your business, okay? Because you're taking action here with this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands take action. They don't let no, no grass grow under their feet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Queen of Wands is a very attractive energy, too. It attracts a lot of attention, okay? Everybody admires them because they always look good, smell good. They got it going on, okay? You could be a business owner. You guys could have your own business. You could be trying to grow your business or something like that. Uh huh. You guys are always planning. You're always driven. You're driven with something all the time. But the good thing about it is you're walking in silence, Virgo. You're keeping it under wraps until it unfolds. You don't like to make, you don't like to reveal too much before for it's time or something like that. Yeah, this is a really beautiful read. Uh -huh. Let's pull some clarifiers and see what else we can get. My goodness, Virgo. Let's see. What, 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 what is going on? Spirit come through. Virgos, I want you guys to think about some questions in your head right now because with this deck, you can get some direct answers, okay? I just want you to just think about some in your head right now. Come through spirit for Virgo. This is beautiful, Virgo. Mm -hmm. Spirit said, wait, Virgo. Some of you have to wait on something. Okay, some of you want it now, now, right now. And I know the feeling, good Lord, I know the feeling. I'm going through that with something of my own right now, you know. And I have to wait, you know. I got some other shit to fix up. And it's it's frustrating, you know what I mean? So you got to wait. You got to be patient. You got to do it right because we all know Virgo's got to have that shit done right. Or oh, they're not doing it at all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, we also have listened to your intuitions. You guys are not listening to your inner intuition enough. You know you're very intuitive. Don't second guess that. Okay, we also have unlikely. Okay, whatever that means. Okay, unlikely. You know what that means to you. These messages are random, but you know what to apl apply them. Come through spirit. We got perfect timing. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got perfect timing. Come through spirit. Yeah, some of you got to let go. Lord, have mercy. You might have to let go of that control. Let this, let spirit uh, handle this on their own, okay? Because you guys are always trying to control everything and do it yourself. Very independent energy. It's not that God don't appreciate that. It's not that spirit is not appreciating that. Spirit knows you better than you know yourself. It's just that spirit wants you to sit back and enjoy the show. Here's some things that he want to show you too, okay? Your, your health is improving too. We got improving health. Okay, your health is definitely improving. Okay, you will see that. You will notice that. And that's because some of the fuck shit that has been thrown on you, some of the negative energy that has thrown on you, spirit has cleansed it, cleansed it off. Some of you have been getting spiritual cleansing and you, don't even, and you don't even know it, okay? Spirit was cleansing you or healing you in many different ways. So you're going to notice that your health is improving. You're going to notice that um, all the work that you have been doing when, when you have done your spiritual cleansings and when you have been, you know, removing people out your life, when you have been raising your vibration, you're going to notice that it has been healing you. You have been feeling better because a lot of the mojos and the, and the hoodoos and the voodoos and the black magic and the negative spells that was thrown your way, thrown your direction, mm -mm, it can't touch you now. It's going to be removed. It's going to be blocked. Okay, let's see what else we can get. And you know, people is vicious. They always try to stop you right before the blessing. People could be so freaking vicious. 
but not to worry. You're very protected, okay? Spirit has protect, been protecting you all along. Very protected. Very gifted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see what else we have. Let's use the, the light oracle. Mm -hmm. To uh, work your light oracle deck. Spirit come through. Because y'all got to work this light, honey. Y'all got to start working it and stop holding back. You know who you are. You know what you are. Good Lord. You got a lot coming at you. And it's all good. Transformation. I can't make this up. Lord, this just flew out my hand. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. I told you guys are doing, doing much better now. You're doing much better. Spirit is coming through for you guys better than what you could have imagined. Okay? You got deep healing. Transformation. This is change. That's that death card. Okay? This is a new you involvement. And it's ironic how she looks just like the high priestess. It's ironic how she looks just how, like the high priestess. That tells me you guys know. You intuitively know that this change is for you. You intuitively know that this change was supposed to take place. You intuitively know that things are getting better. You know it. You can feel it. The energy is changing. Please cleanse your energy for the new year. Take some spiritual baths. You know what to do. Jump into some sea salt and some black coffee, okay? That's an excellent cleanse, cleansing bath. Put a little sea salt in your mop water, okay? And mop that floor. Not much because you don't want that white film on your floor, but it will remove all negative energy. That's for sure, okay? And you can also add some cinnamon because that cinnamon is going to bring in some money, okay? And mop that floor. All right. Also, uh, you have to change your broom and your mop. Every new year, throw, throw out the old one and get a new one. Okay. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your north. Mm, this is ironic. I swear. When I was cleansing my cars yesterday, this fell out for me. So I swore it was a message for me. Okay. And it sure says you're already doing it. Stop overthinking it. Keep facing your north. So whatever it is that you're planning, you're already doing it. Whatever it is that you want and you're desiring and with the process that you got to go through to get it, you're already doing it, okay? Keep facing your north. And your north is your true mission here, your true desire, the reason why you're here. Keep facing your north, okay? Spirit come through, all right? Mm-hmm. You could tell I cleaned these cards, honey. They got a powerful message today. What? Okay, we got priestess. Mm -hmm. How are you being called to step up to lead? How are you being called to step up to lead? Okay, you guys are priestess, high priestess. Okay, let me tell you something. How are you being called to step up to lead? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of you may feel that you got to be perfect because you're high priestess energy or you're very intuitive. Some of you are very psychic. Some of you are tarot readers yourself. You don't have to be perfect. You're human too, okay? If you need to get a reading, if you need to get a spiritual bath, cleanse yourself, okay? You can't be the one who don't go through nothing, all right? They're not going to listen to you. You got to have have you gotta have had a story too. You have, you have had, you have to have went through something too, okay? It's okay to be vulnerable. Okay, and it's okay to share your stories. Like, I'll tell you all the time when I'm going through something. Share your story because that helps people relate to you. Okay, that's what makes you a good leader. Because that they'll see that if you got through it, they can get through it. They'll see that they're not alone in this fuck shit here, whatever it is that we're going through. Okay, so this is how uh, you guys are being called to lead. Share your experiences. Let them know, yeah, I've been through that fuck shit, but you can get out of it. Okay? Yeah, that happens. That happens to the best of us, but you can get out of it. Okay, don't try to walk in silence like, you know, nothing happens to me. I'm all perfect. That just happened to you all, but not to me. Mm -mm, share. We also have Pleiades. Double mission. Channeling and uplifting humanity. Good Lord, you got a powerful job here. You got a powerful job here, Virgo. You got a powerful job here. Mm hmm yeah, you want a double mission. Mission. You guys be channel, channeling and uplifting humanity. Okay, this is why I say this is an uplifting channel. Okay, that's my intention. Okay, we got enough doom and the gloom. We got enough worry. We got enough stress. Uh huh. 
We're going to find a way to pull ourselves out of this fuck shit. And you know, Virgos is notorious for that. For those of you that's dating Virgos, I'm going to do a video for y'all. Because I'm going to let you know what you're really messing with. Because a Virgo, mm, male or female, even if they're going through fuck shit, you'll never know. They're, they're really good at pushing it aside and pushing it down and, you know, ignoring it and walking around with a smile on their face. Their heart could be cracking inside, but you'll never know. it. They pull it together real good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They pull it together real good. Very intuitive energy, too. They get downloads and messages all the time. Their job is uplifting. So this is why they don't stay in doom and gloom long at all. That that start messing with their health. That makes them sick. Yeah. A Virgo can know. All, all signs. But a Virgo can really know when they need a spiritual bath. Mm -hmm. When they need a spiritual bath, they're doom and gloom. They're sad. They're crying. They're laying around. They can't seem to get up and do nothing. Mm -hmm, because they don't stay in that energy long. They don't like to stay in that energy. That's when they. That's an indication that they need the spiritual bath. That's an indication that they need to get away, get away from a certain energy. When they get that depressing energy. No, no, no. Something is not right. Something is off. We have unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Good Lord, a lot of you are going to be doing some cleansing or some releasing or some sort of healing to release a lot of crap. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, a lot of stuff. You're releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So a lot of you are doing a lot of deep soul healing, and you don't even know it, my God. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is why you're going through all this fuck shit with some of these twin flames, too, because a lot of you guys are in twin flame relationships as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't make this shit up. We have yes. Just say yes. Come through, spirit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just say yes. Lord, have mercy. Now, that was my rose quartz that keep falling on you. On your read here. Just say yes, honey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's funny how we got just say yes, and we also got no. Wait, postpone, pause, say no. Mm. Come through, spirit. Because you also have that. I'm going to leave that there. That fell down. So some of you might be saying or oh, want to say yes, but, you, but you're but you going to say no. <laughs> your friend might be saying or your person might be saying just say yes, but your spirit is saying mm -mm, no, uh-uh, no, I can't, I know. Fuck that. It's over. I ain't going back to you. Hmm, that was ironic. Let's pull some clarifiers some more. How about that? For the Virgo spirit, what's going on with these beautiful Virgos? I love y'all energy. And again, whatever it is that you guys have in y'all little mastermind of plans, it's going to go better than what you thought. You're on the right track, okay? Mm -hmm. You, Some of you have definitely learned how to put your priorities first, make you put yourself first. You learned a lot about yourself this year. This year has helped you strengthen yourself on a different level, on a cellular level. Okay, you're learning how to put yourself first, make yourself a priority. Good job. Keep up the good work. You're being blessed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because you, you guys know Virgos are really big of putting everybody before them. Don't do that anymore, Virgo. Okay, you're no good to nobody if you all jacked up, fucked up, mentally uh, drained. Mm -mm. No, you're making yourself a priority and you're doing very well. Mm -hmm. This is getting better. And whoever this is that's in love with you, mm they're determined. They ain't trying to go, but they got to catch up to you first. Because, honey, you want to, you, 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 you guys are hitting the ground running. My goodness. Some of you got a new love coming in. Mm -hmm. Forgive me, but I found a new love who makes me feel alive. Lord, have mercy. Some of you got a new love and y'all like, I don't even know why this one is trying to come back or lurking around. Because I ain't got nothing to say to him. But it's going to be your choice, Virgo. It's going to be your choice. <laughs> Come through spirit. Oh, my goodness. I don't mean to laugh. But, baby, some of y'all are so mean. Some of y'all like, shit, I ain't going back to that choice. Yeah, you've been doing too much healing. Yeah, you're in a different place and you refuse to go back to it. It's like, it's like once you take off that dirty, crusty sock. 
You're never putting that shit back on unless it's been washed, clean, and fluffed and dried, right? This is how you guys feel. That's an old, dirty-ass sock. We're going to Oracle. I ain't putting that shit back on. We got healing. I'm taking the time to heal, to accept the love I know I deserve. Yeah, you guys feel this person is not what you deserve. You don't care. What epiphany, what awaken they have had. That You just feel they're not what you deserve. Mm -mm. They feel when you, you feel when you was trying to love them, when you was trying to show them how how gifted uh, this relationship was or this situation was that you guys um, had. This person laughed at it. They thought you was kidding. Because mm -hmm. you guys was too different. Yeah, this is you guys were just too different. Some of you guys, some of you Virgos was trying to be with somebody you knew you shouldn't have been with. Okay, I don't care how much money they made or how many businesses they had. It was just something that was unequally yoked between you two. Okay, maybe we are just too different to make this relationship work. Yeah, and I don't care if they were married with children or had somebody else. You guys just was too different. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you got true love coming in, Virgo. Good Lord, this person might think they're your true love too because this person is really determined. You might have to convince this person they're not your true love because it looks like you convince them that they are. Yeah. Shit, this person knows how to love you. They don't know how to stop loving you now. Lord, have mercy. What have you done to them, Virgo? Yeah, they can't move on. I can't make this shit up. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. This person can't leave you alone. Mm, 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 mm. They're going to be coming up in all your readings all the time because their energy is tough. You have let them go. You're done. You did. Let them go. You did. You cut them off at the root. Lord, have mercy. I be trying to tell. I told you, I'm going to do a video for the, and it's not going to be for the Virgos. It's going to be about the damn Virgos. Okay? Virgos, y'all can listen to it if you want to, but it's basically for whoever these cross watchers are. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to tell. I'm going to do a reading on what y'all dealing with because you got to learn. You got to learn what you're dealing with. They're very complicated people, but yet they're not. It's, it's, it's deep. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah, this person's arrogance. Stop this. Mm -hmm. Stop this from growing or stop this from coming about. Arrogance. If I don't get what I want from you, I'll get it from someone else. Yeah. That's that arrogant-ass energy that they were in. And this is what they thought. They thought they can get it from somebody else, but went to somebody else and lost their goddamn mind because that somebody else wasn't you. Mm -hmm. That's all. That someone else couldn't touch you. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Virgos are completely done. Enough is enough. Yeah, enough is enough. Mm -hmm. You're focusing on yourself. Yeah, this person, you focus on your family, you're focusing on yourself or something like that. Family means uh, more to you. Focus on your family. Okay, my focus has been on my family. That means the world to me. Yeah, you're focusing on your children, your mother, your father, your sister, and your brother. And this person is strategizing. Yeah, you guys are just focusing on your children. They feel that you're worth waiting for or something like that. They know you're worth waiting for. This person wants a commitment with you. Mm -hmm. When I think about my future, I want a commitment. This person is determined to come in for you. They're strategizing, okay? Because they know that you're worth waiting for. They know that you're worth whatever fuck shit they got to go through to get you back. Because they had you and they lost you mm -hmm. due to their arrogance. Lord, have mercy. Come through spirit. Through to their arrogance, yeah. Mm -hmm. This person was cheating on you. They was having flings. For those of you who uh, this person wasn't married, some of you guys, this person was already in a marriage, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Virgos, you're totally focused on yourself. You have nothing to do with this person anymore. This flew out. That's, oh, my goodness. We got divine timing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything is in divine timing. Again, this is going to be your choice, okay? Because spirit always got a way to come up and let you know who he is. Spirit is saying all oh, this was supposed to go down in divine time. So, Virgos, if some of you got asked up because it was taking too long or this person was taking too long to recognize who you are, um, it was all supposed to go down in divine timing, okay? So, the choice will be yours. Your choice. Your choice is to see this for what this is and realize that it, this was never going to move no faster than what spirit wanted it to move, okay? Some of you may have felt this was too long. He waited too long or she waited too long. I have moved on. You have to always keep in mind that everything is in divine time and you guys don't run nothing, okay? We don't run nothing. Nobody on God's screen earth run anything. Spirit does. Divine timing, okay? No matter. Okay, if you, like, I was really trying to get something that I really wanted. 
Okay, and I wanted it now, now, now. You know how Virgos can be, you know. And I have to realize it's in divine timing. You know what I mean? You don't run nothing. You sit back and enjoy the show. You make it known what you want. But, honey, it's only gonna go on, it's only gonna unfold when spirit wants it to. You understand what I'm saying? So I had to, you know, be reminded of that, my damn self. Divine timing. Mm -hmm. Everything happens in divine timing. Come through spirit. Whatever messages do you have for Virgo? Whatever messages do you have for Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Spirit, you feel that this person, I'm um, Spirit. Virgo, you, spelt this, you feel that this person is emotionally unavailable. You feel this person doesn't know how to share their emotions with you, don't know how to talk to you, don't know how to um, go deep into who they really are or, you know, go deep into their emotional side. You, sometimes you feel this person is emotionless. Uh-huh. But remember, it's something about this person that made you like them. No matter how cold and distant or emotionless they feel or betray, it's something that, that made you feel some emotions about them, okay? Anyway, they're planning something. This person is not done with you at all. Get ready. Get ready for the fuck shit. Because here they come. And this person is playing hardball, okay? They're a charming motherfucker, too. They know how to do it. Male or female. They're charming as fuck, and they know how to get to you. Very sweet, very smart, very intelligent, clever, Okay? Yep. Earth signs, message for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is definitely a message for them earth signs. Okay. Yeah, this person is doing some shadow work. They're healing some inner childhood wounds. Okay. They did the same thing that you did, Virgo. A lot of you have done that. A lot of you are healing that soul uh, wound. That, that wound is down to the soul. You've been doing some healing, and I'm proud of you. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. This person wants a family with you. This person wants you pregnant with their child, especially if you're child-bearing age. This person's intentions is to come and get you pregnant and have a family with you. They want to marry you. This person is very attracted to you. Okay? Mm-hmm, Virgo. Especially if you guys are the younger bunch who's still conceiving. No, the older ones ain't trying to hear that shit. Mm-mm. The older ones could be avoiding this person. <laughs> All of y'all could be avoiding this person, but ain't nobody trying to have no baby. Uh-uh. Yeah, it could be a distance between you two. Uh -huh. This person might have to travel a distance to come see you or take a long ride to come see you. They don't live around the corner, in other words, okay? This person is may, may be a whole hour away or something, 45-minute ride or something like that, okay? Yeah, this person is scared, but they're coming. This person loves you. They don't want to give up on you, Virgo. This person feels that they're losing you. They see your glow up. They see that you're doing better, and they know the new year has something better for you. You guys are very in tune, too. You can feel them. They can feel you. You can, you can feel their energy. They can feel your energy. You guys talk on 5D all the time. This person wants you to compromise with them, or you feel that you have to compromise because... You know, you guys are so opposite. Opposites attract. They want this, you want that. You know what I mean? They want this, you want that. They want to say this, you like hell no to that. You understand? But this person is hurting. They're hurting over you because now they see they worth. Now they see that that person that they chose only wants them for one thing, their money. Okay? You never wanted them for their money. You wanted them for them. You know, the, the, the other person never asked them, how are you doing? Are you Okay. The other, the other person never, never like question them about them. It's always what you going. Can you give me, give me, give me, give me, give me? And they see that now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They feel trapped. They feel trapped in a situation they don't want to be in. They feel trapped, and that's their punishment. That's their karma. Because when spirit send you divine, you're supposed to pay attention. No matter what other situation that you're in, you're supposed to pay attention. And if you don't pay attention, you're at least supposed to treat them kind. Okay. They were supposed to be careful. They were supposed to be kind. Shout out to Chardet. They were supposed to be careful, and they were supposed to be kind, and they wasn't. They wasn't. And now you're in a new, whole new energy with a whole new different attitude, okay? Looking brighter, looking younger, looking sweeter, feeling feeling agile, feeling energetic, uh -huh. especially her, especially that divine feminine, okay? Now you're in a whole new better place. You're in a whole new different energy uh -huh, because you pulled back a lot of your energy, yeah, this person is missing you. Lord, hey, they're missing you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This person is missing you. And I don't care who you're here for. They're missing you. They're missing you because you walked away from them. You got walking away. You walked away from them. 
Okay, now they're missing you. Now they're crying. Now they gut punched. Lord have mercy. Let's do one more, Spirit. Let's do one more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we'll be done. What other messages do you have for Virgo? Now, Virgo, this is a different deck. Don't let it scare you. Just take the message now because these pictures look deep. But I like this guy. He does some really good decks. Take the messages, Spirit. What messages do you have for Virgo for 2023? 2023, 20, what is it? 2023? Messages for 2023 for Virgo. This new year is going to be amazing. It's coming in with a bang. It's coming in with a bang. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got magic wand. Mm -hmm. Energy flows where attention goes. Focus and ignore the noise. I can't make this shit up. What I tell you. <laughs> when I tell you, you guys are on some sort of mission. You are driven as fuck and you're going to get exactly what you're going after. Mm -hmm. Stay in that energy. Yeah, we got drumming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Connect with connect with with spirit through music. Use music to boost your energy. You guys already know that, okay? I keep music on at all times, all throughout my house, because it's healing. It's healing. It really is. Yeah, you know, you already know. You have to keep that good music, that uplifting music, whatever it is. If it's Johnny, if it's smooth jazz, if it's Whatever your jams are, you know, put it on because it puts you in a different energy, okay? We got horseshoe. Mm -hmm. What you touch turns to gold. Expect to receive a lucky brick. My God. Virgo, did not, hey, what? Come through, spirit. Come through. Come through. Where's my Florida water? Lord, give me something. Mm, 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 mm. I didn't told you. I done told you y'all don't listen to me. Ooh, baby, let me raise this vibration. Come on. Dude, that just gave me chills. When I tell you, this is going to be better than what y'all can imagine. You guys are on a mission. Y'all some driven asses right now. Whatever you guys are focused on, you laser focused, and you're going to get it. You're going to get exactly what you want, too. Mm -hmm. We also got that devil. Lord, have mercy. Nothing is worth obsessing over. Okay, what vices must you get? What vices must you get rid of? Okay, don't be obsess obsessing over anything. Okay, if you guys feel that you're obsessing over something, you, what vices do you need to get rid of it? Okay, uh-huh. And it looks like y'all got rid of that most, that most, uh, the biggest obsession in your life, and that's that person that wants to come back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We also have ruins, okay? Ruins. Embrace the unknown. Secrets will soon be revealed. Yeah. You got secrets coming in. This person coming to tell you uh, all what they truly feel, okay? This new energy that you got, that you're determined to go get what you want, you're going to, a lot is going to be revealed and it's going to help you get it, okay? Yeah, this is what that horseshoe energy is all about. Let's read it again. What you touch turns to gold, okay? Expect to receive a lucky break. And that's exactly what you're about to get, okay? We got mojo bag. Keep the momentum going without, without steady effort, nothing prospers, okay? So stay steady with it. Stay steady with it. It looks like you guys are. You guys are determined. Uh-huh. And you're rocking steady. What did Rita Franklin say? Rock steady. You're rocking steady. We got knowledge right here. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is the ultimate solution. Keep going. The answers will come. Okay? Yes. Yeah, some of you guys... Mm, some of you guys are worried about something, Virgo. You let it go. Okay? You got the knowledge. Okay? You got the knowledge. All right, somebody's fucking with you, somebody's messing with you or something like that. Something got Somebody got you a little worried about something. No need to worry. All is going to be well. This person can't touch you with a 10-foot pole, okay? They might be threatening to sue you, take you to court or something like that. Don't worry about that, okay? You might be worrying about if you're going to pay your taxes. You will. Don't worry about that. It's some kind of hidden worry that's inside of you. All is going to work out better than what you thought, Okay? We got Bell, okay? Mm -hmm. Good news coming your way. It's time to take action. I can't make this shit up. Didn't I just tell you it's going to go better than what you think? Good news is coming your way. It's time to take action, okay? Yep, and you will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come through, spirit. Come through. I'm going to go to the next row with this deck. Can I have some more, please, for Virgo? Sun, moon, and rising. 
for the year 2023. Okay, we got good witch. Okay, you're building good karma. Your good deeds will be rewarded. See, you guys are good energy. You're good people. You try to do good because you, you're, you're well aware of that thing called karma. Good or bad, it comes back. Whatever you send out, good or bad, it comes back. So a lot of you guys are very mindful of sending out good because you want it back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's not, I'm not saying that you, you're a good person because you expected it back. You're just a good person and you, you understand that it would behoove you to be a good person because what you send out comes to hell back. Mm -hmm. We have palmistry. Mm -hmm. Cannot escape fate and destiny. What's meant for you will stay. Now, now this, is, this says it all. What's meant to go is going to be gone. So look at everything that's suddenly going out your life. Just look at it. Just think about, think back about everybody you no longer talk to, everybody you're no longer friends with, everything that you no longer do, every place that you used to hang at you no longer go. All those things that's out your life for a reason. What's meant to go is going to go. What's meant to stay is going to stay, okay? Because it's meant for you. It's supposed to stay. Mm -hmm. We have that altar, okay? Protect your personal space. Your boundaries are being violated. Okay, some of you had to really cut some motherfuckers out your life because they your boundaries was being violated. This person was taking advantage of you. They was taking advantage of your kindness. They was, uh, you know, just playing you, trying to act like you was some sort of sucker or trying to use you, talk down to you like you was a child or something like that. And you a full-grown man or a full-grown woman. You had to cut this out your life, be it family members, best friends, good friends, co-workers. Lovers, whoever it could, whoever it was, they had to go. And this was somebody who was totally taking advantage of your kindness, trying to play you down or play you, play you like you wasn't important or something like that. Trying to, you know, make you feel like you know you was less than. And you like fuck, fuck out of here, you know. And you had to cut these these people out your life, and you feel so much better now. We have graveyard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Step through to a new life. Coming near the end of a chapter. And that's exactly what's going on. We're at the end of a chapter. This new year is the end of your chapter. Okay, you're stepping into a new life, Virgo. 2023 is going to be a totally new life for you. You're making it so. You're manifesting it. Okay, we got feather. Coincidences are plans in disguise. Mm. Coat feather. Some of you are seeing feathers. Mm -hmm. Some of you are seeing feathers all over the goddamn place. Okay, or you will be. Okay, coincidences coincidences are plans in disguise you're undergoing a spiritual initiation okay yeah this is it is what it is you think you inter you, you think you're interested in tarot for nothing you think you're interested in the metaphysical for nothing it is what it is you are who you are okay this is that spiritual inter in initiation you're getting closer to spirit. You're getting closer to God. Your third eye is going to be opened up more. Your intuition is going to be sharpening. Some of you guys must learn to start using it. Take your spiritual baths. Put your Florida water on. Put your holy water on. Mix them together. Spray them around your house. Spray them in your car. I play no games. You can't either, okay? This is a spiritual warfare for real, okay? And the closer that you get to spirit, the closer that you get to God, the closer that you get to your gifts, uh, the more adversities that's going to come at you. And it doesn't mean they're going to destroy you. It's just going to come Come at you, okay? This is a reason why you're spiritual, so you can learn how to fight back spiritually. You call on your angels, you call on your guides. They are there for you, but they will not move until you give them permission. You understand, Archangel, Archangel Michael? I give you permission to come define, to come fight for me. I give you permission to come protect me. I, I give you permission to come stand with me and help me through this. Things like that, okay? Come through, spirit. We got sexy witch. Your sexual energy. Is your power intense sexual chemistry with someone? Lord have mercy. Some of you guys are whipping the shit out of somebody. Listen, you know you can't have sex with just anybody, okay? Because this was your sex is not average. Ain't nothing average about you, divines. Nothing. Nothing average about you, Virgos. You know it. You guys are divine energies, okay? You have very empathic, special energies, male or female, especially if you at my channel reading this uh, message here. It's nothing, un extra, it's nothing ordinary about you. Everything about you is very extraordinary, okay? So you cannot be giving them yams and that yum-yum to just anybody, okay? You can't. You just cannot be throwing that wine into anybody, and you can't be letting anybody come into your yams. You just can't. Keep that pocketbook closed. Okay, they got to be on a, cer a certain high vibration for you to let them slide up in you. 
They come inside your sacred energy, okay? And for the men, you can't be putting your wine into just anything, okay? Because you, that's a, a sexual act is a is an energy of transference. You don't know what the hell you picking up. You understand? Be very selective, my loves. Be very selective. Hell, I love sex just as much as the next, but I just can't let anybody in my sacred space. Okay? And I don't. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got voodoo doll. Okay. Take back the power you gave. Someone is trying to control you. You see what I'm saying? You done took back your power from some, sort, from some sort of control freak that was trying to manipulate you, control you, or was controlling you and manipulating you for a very long time. Years, a year, months, couple of months. Mm -hmm. you, you took it back, okay? We got magic circle, okay? Your emotional shapes, your environment shapes you. Be, be conscious of your social circle. I just, baby, come through spirit. I'm going to say it again for the people in the back who didn't hear me, okay? Magic circle. Your environment shapes you. Be cautious. Be conscious of your social circle. Be conscious who you let around you. Be very selective. I was just saying that about your sexual partners, okay? I'm okay. Spirit is saying that about everybody. Be very conscious who you let in your circle. Be very conscious who you let in your environment, Okay, because it shapes you, it makes you. That's a transference of energy. You don't want any energy around you, any negative energy sucking you dry of energy vampires. So be very selective, okay? Be very, very, very conscious of it because uh, what's hindering them could start hindering you. What's blocking them could start blocking you. What's fucking them up could start fucking you up, okay? Let's just, let's just put it out there. All right, you have to be very selective. You have to be conscious of who you and camp yourself around. All right, that's why many of you chose to be solo. A lot of you are, are like to be in solitude. You're hermits. A lot of you roll by yourself. You don't need a crew. You're alpha men. You're alpha woman. You don't roll in packs. Lord knows I don't. Alpha woman over here. She rolls by her damn self. I go to the movies by myself, the market, the mall by myself. Okay, if anybody's with me, it's my daughter. And that's not often because she don't sit still. You understand? And, and I'm cool with that. I remember it was a time I wasn't. Like, oh, I can't go to the movies by myself. I need. So I can't go out to dinner by myself. I need somebody. Ch child, please. I'll go out. I'll get decked out and go to dinner by myself now. It's the peace that's important. It's the peace. It's the peace of mind that's important. No haters. No jealousy. No fake-ass energy. Because you know I'm an empath. I'm going to pick all that shit up. And so are you. Virgos, I hope you enjoyed my read. If you enjoyed my read, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, talk to you soon, and have the most marvelous new year at uh, 12 o'clock tonight. Get ripped, turned up, have a wonderful time, but most of all, be safe and protect your environment. Talk to you soon. Ashe.